Good morning, and to get you set for selling your house, or perhaps buying your house, buying a new house, and some of the tips that you need, we're with the Kate Brodick team. We're with Kate. Hello, Kate. How are you? I'm awesome. We're, I think it's important to start outside. I agree. Right? Because that's what people always want to see first. It's your first impression. Uh, anytime you're buying a home or selling a home, that is going to be the first thing that buyers or sellers are going to want to talk about. So if this house is for sale, yes. and people, do the people normally do a drive-by? They always do. They want to check it out, right? They yeah. want to see, like, size it up almost to see if it's worth taking a look inside. Okay, so let's give some tips. Oh, like, first impressions, very, very nice, right? Yes. Like, the, the gardens look good. They do, yes. And it's important uh, when you're talking about your gardens, especially in fall, um, because a lot of overgrowth and plants are starting to die because of the weather, you want to make sure you're trimming them back. But you also want to still have mulch, right? You want to yeah. make sure that the plants that are there for the season are popping. And so this garden is nicely edged. You've got nice plants, nice mulch. So I'd say a good first impression. Okay, other things that we're seeing now that maybe not so good. And this is probably something that you might see on a typical home day to day for a young family. You might see some seasonal aspects like pumpkins for Halloween. Okay, we you might don't, see some toys. We, okay, so toys, no? No, no. So you're looking at a soccer ball, hockey nets, um, hockey sticks. These are the things that you probably want to take away. Okay, what about um, pumpkins and things? Pumpkins. Any seasonal. Um, I guess pieces like pumpkins or if it's at Christmas time, Christmas decorations, they need to get out. How come? Because it's really putting a time stamp on the property and say for instance, you know, the market isn't doing very well and the house has been on the market for three, four weeks, Pump pumpkins are no longer a thing into November, okay. so you want to remove them. Uh, cushions? Have cushions. some cushions here. Always, always have some cushions. I think the cushions are a good addition because it really kind of uh, spruces up uh, a nice sitting area in a corner. Right, okay, so we're getting rid of these pumpkins. What about like these, oh, there's like a garbage bin or a recycling bin. That would be something you would want to take away. So garbage bins, recycling bins, they just clutter up the front of the home. That there, where could we put this? Planters. Planters. So a nice addition to any curb appeal would be some nice pop of color. So in the fall, mums. So some fall mums. Some fall mums. Just hide this one around the... Around the corner, stick it in the garage, whatever okay. works. Around the back. Okay. I think we still have a little bit more so, tidying so, okay, up so to do. Okay, so here we do. We'll take, we'll, take, we'll take a break. We'll finish tidying up out yeah. here. But all morning long, we're going to go inside. Yeah. And you want to kind of go room to room to room yeah. and yeah. kind of show what uh, show how properly we should stage and some, some good tips on that. Absolutely. Sound like a game plan? Sounds like a plan. Then maybe test me out at the end. At the end, nice challenge. Done. Hanging <laughs> with the Kate Braddock team here in Brantford on Morning Live. So let's turn this back on. Uh, yeah. uh, house. Get rid of that one. That's right. And you know what? I'm going to take this so, after we did the curb appeal outside, the next kind of first impression um, is the entranceway into the home. Back with Kate Yeah, Bob. I mean, and this is probably uh, equally as important because yeah. now you've brought your buyers into the home. And the first thing that you should definitely have on is some lights. Right. You can't really come into a home and not be able to see where you're going, and you certainly can't expect buyers to know the placement of each light switch. Right. So in the fall market, when it gets darker a little bit earlier, you want to have that nice bright space so that when they come in, they feel warm and welcomed. What about shoes? Do you get people to take their shoes off? Or is well, it really they, they, they should, especially this time of year. Right. People are washing their the floors, and that's right? why the mat's important. That's right now. I'm really short, so if I take my <laughs> shoes off... <laughs> We're not going to do that right now. Well, totally, that's totally <laughs> yeah. fine. Okay, so they kind of into like the living area in, in this in this home, which is which is a really really nice setup. But it there's is. a few things here that kind of um, jump out at me that need to be changed because yeah. we've kind of set them some things up. Okay, that's so what, right. about, what about curtains? You well, we just talked about having a nice bright space. That's the first thing we tell our sellers to do is to open up, let open that natural those, light air. Open those. That's right, and it's a beautiful window. It's a great feature of a home, so you want to showcase right. that too, yeah. right? So, what do you feel about, um, obviously, pillows, throw pillows, you like them. But not too many. Okay. That's right. So, I mean, this here looks like someone just got off the couch, probably watching a movie. The best thing you want to do, take that throw pillow off. Right. Stack the pillows up nicely. Arrange them so that it looks nice. Right? There you go. Not bad. Are you fine with leaving you, you're using your own furniture? 
Like, do people, do you need to get your furniture out of the You bring know what? The furniture? average family, I don't think, uh, does that. I think that we just try to utilize what they have. Selling a home can be a little bit stressful, so I feel like pulling everyone's furniture out and bringing in new stuff doesn't suit all lifestyles. Right. Uh, Garbage. August, right. Any, anything like that, decluttering. That's right, like and that's also for um, privacy and and just for making sure that your stuff uh, doesn't go missing. Okay. Right, um, get rid of that. That's right, and right here, you'd know all about this. Yes, having little kids myself. Three little is, ones. Right? That's right. Um, you do too, don't you? Three kids. Yeah, right. That's so right. There's, there's there's always uh, clutter with with kids stuff. And cleaning all this stuff up. A hundred percent. And you know what? The biggest thing is, is while you're selling your home, you can't expect parents to take all the kids toys away. So this is going to be a, a pretty regular thing in any family home. So all you need to do is have a basket handy so that when you get that phone call for a buyer coming to view Just your home, it throw it in. Right. That's right. Pretty well versed. Tuck it all in. That's right. right. And then you know what? Have a storage cabinet that you can just kind of tuck Throw it in. Too. There you go. Uh, fireplace. On, on. On. Off. On. This time of year, it gets chilly at night. Uh, this makes a nice, warm, and inviting feel. Okay. Um, and let's lastly kind of finish in the in the in the dining room here. Okay. So one thing would be to open the curtains. That's right. Look at me. Look at you go. Okay. <laughs> and family pictures. Where are you with family? Where are you with family pictures? So the traditional uh, staging, um, I guess, tip is to remove them. I am totally against it. Yeah. I think when you come into a home and you see a beautiful feature wall of a lovely family, it really sets the tone of the house. Yeah. This is beautiful. Well, it's, it's lived in. Right? It is yeah, lived yeah, in. Yeah, and cool. you know what? The average family lives in their home. Yeah. And so I think it's just as long as it's tasteful, it's done nicely, and there's nothing inappropriate, I think this is great. Okay. Outside done, kind of the main living area done. But you know where we hang out the most is the kitchen. So, the kitchen. We, so when we come back, let's uh, let's tackle the kitchen and what we need to do in there. Also, the master bedroom. The master Those, bedroom. Let's do the master bedroom. We'll do that. Okay. We'll do, yes. we'll do the master bedroom. I'm getting tired. I'm going to make myself at home here. The Kate Broderick team in Brantford. When we come back, I'm morning live. Oh, thumbs up to the couch, though. Very comfy couch. <laughs> So we obviously spend a lot of time in our bedrooms, but it's one of those rooms in the house that nobody really ever sees because when you have company over, you're spending it in the kitchen or the main living area. But when you're selling the house, it's something that people it's want to important. see. Back with Kate from the Kate Broderick, Broderick team. Broderick and, team. Um, I'm trying to get this right. I've been okay <laughs> thus far. Uh, so you're making the bed and that's cool. I am. I am because you know what? It's you, nobody wants to see a messy bed. Whether right. you make your bed or not, when you're showing your home, you need to do it. So I'm actually going to get you to help me. If you okay. want to pull up nice and tight, right? You want to make sure that it's no wrinkles. That's perfect. Okay. If you have a throw blanket at the end, you can just straighten it out and make sure that. There, and if you have any sheets that are hanging out, tuck them under. Make sure that your bedspread is hiding all of. What's okay. over there? That's perfect. Uh, pillows. Throw pillows. That's tons right. of pillows. Yeah, toss well, those pillows on there. Nice pillows here. You right. can take this one. And all okay. I want you to do, right here, that's perfect. Right. It just dresses the bed up, makes okay. it have that staged look, whether you do this at home every day or you don't. When you're selling your home, it does add a nice touch. Right. Look at that. Okay. Oh, you finished it off. You're doing uh, great. There we go. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Um, I'm yeah. hearing music. Yes, and this should actually be something you should consider for the whole house, not just the bedroom. Um, it cuts the silence, so when buyers are coming into the home, it doesn't give that echoey feel. You kind of relax when you walk into a room. When it doesn't music. need to be the same music. It could be different music in different rooms. It can be different, different music. If you decide you wanted to play something more upbeat downstairs and softer upstairs, that's totally fine too. Okay. But it is a good option. Okay, yeah, Let's throw that off. Um, jewelry, all personal stuff. Yes, and the bedroom is probably the place where you have the most personal items. This is something I would strongly consider you take away, put in a safe spot, so that way it's not out for everybody to see. There's There could be some expensive pieces on there, and even if it's not expensive, it's still your own personal items. Perfumes, take deodorants, it take it off. Yeah, and I always advise that uh, anytime you have any kind of furniture with a ledge, Free and clear, clean lines, take everything right. off it. Uh, kids' pictures, though? Again, we uh, mentioned this downstairs. We did. And I mean, once again, you want it to be tasteful. Do you want people seeing tons and tons of family photos? That's okay. really up to you. It's personal. I probably would take them. Take okay. these ones down. Yeah, because there's some more up yeah, here. Yeah, that's a nice right? gallery wall again. Ooh, I see Laundry. this. Laundry. Right? Tuck it in a closet. Make sure it's neat and tidy. Okay. Back in there. And. Yeah. What else? I'm starting. I'm, I don't know. You're doing it. Think about water bottle. No. Yeah, obviously. take it off. 
Uh, what about the light? Oh, oh, we need to open the curtains. That's right. Okay. Get that natural light in. Okay, You'll be so surprised how nice the space looks. There we go. Open up the curtains. And especially with these the windows, you can tell right away that they're newer windows. Great, right. look at that. Okay. So, From the shot, uh, curb amazing. appeal. That's right. Uh, living room, yes. master bedroom. Heart of the home. That's where we're off to next. Kitchen. Kitchen. And you're going to test my skills and we see are. how I've done. Well, actually, I'm not going to test your, our, your skills. Who do we got? Bree's going to test Bree. your skills. Bree. Okay, so we'll meet Bree from the Kate Brodick team. Brodick team. Here in Brantford on Morning Live. Okay, so we all know the kitchen. That's where really everybody hangs out. So I think that's a good place to finish. We're back with the Kate Brodick team, and we have Social Bree. Hello, Social Bree. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So you're you're testing me. I am testing okay. what's you. The, what's, the, what's the test of the game you got for me? Okay, so this is how a regular house would look on a daily basis, yeah. but we don't think it's show ready. So we have a showing challenge for you. Okay. You have buyers coming in 30 minutes, and we really want to wow them. So okay. we're going to give you one minute to go around the space and really organize things. But don't worry, we're going to be right here to make sure you hit all the important things. Okay. So you're going to go on the blow of my whistle. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Set? <laughs> go! So obviously the kid's stuff. I only have a minute? Only a minute. 50 seconds. <laughs> all of this stuff. Oh. This mic's getting in the way. Okay. Where's my filter? Okay. You're doing good. Let's turn the fireplace on. Hopefully that's on. Okay, I'm turning the <laughs> fireplace on. Everybody knows that. What about some lights? More lights? Halfway. Lights? Oh. Oh yeah, we don't want More that. Kid stuff. Okay. I need a place to put all this kid stuff. <laughs> what about like... <laughs> I found a drawer! <laughs> You're not supposed to make more of a mess. I know. <laughs> Here goes. All right, 10 seconds. What? Nice, that's a good call. Yes. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Don't put the peanut butter in the dishwasher. Nobody looks in the dishwasher. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay, Kate, I'm going to have a mic. Oh, yeah. So, look out for that. Okay. What are some things that I. Well, if you go right back, do you need a, do you need a minute? You talk for, you talk for a bit. Okay. We're going to go right back to your exterior. Remember, we talked about seasonal items? Right. So, if we look some at the pumpkins, pumpkins, that's right. So, that really uh, timestamps the, the um, listing or the home. Okay. So, I would have removed that. You did. I think you tried, I tried to, turn. to turn the fireplace on. There was an attempt because you always want the fireplace on. Right, and we and you turned the lights on. So that's one of the uh, most important things is to make sure that the space is nice and bright. Okay. Um, I don't know that I would have cleared my counters into my dishwasher, but I certainly believe that a nice, clean um, countertop really showcases, especially if it's a stone, a marble, or a granite countertop. Um, so it really shows the space. So I think you did a good job, but there's one big one that you missed: the pet bed. Oh, I saw, I saw it, I saw it. I but I didn't really know where, like, okay, it. so where would I, where would you? Uh, this is something that you should probably have that go-to space. So whenever you're selling your home, the best advice I could have is an action plan. Make sure you have bins ready for toys so you can neatly st uh, stick them in your cabinets and a place for these items, like maybe a garage or, or a Not, I don't think this, this one, this will fit in the dishwasher. <laughs> uh, you know, something that we haven't tackled is... It smells really nice in here, like somebody just yes. baked. Okay, so what do you do when it comes to smells? Uh, that's actually one of the, the biggest first impressions. When you walk into a home, you do not want it overpowering with potpourri and floral scents. Very soft, like cinnamon, cookies, or maybe baking a pie. Right. Uh, or at least something that provides that scent so you don't actually have to sit there and bake cookies 10 okay. minutes before showing. Uh, anything, we've been talking a lot about selling your house. What about buying a house? A couple little tips for anybody buying? Quick tips, you wanna make sure that that it's a clean home, a maintained home, but also the space. Because you're these chairs, this couch, right. these decor items, it's not going with the house. So you want to make sure it's functional, maintained, and the space works for your family. Do you want a croissant from the dishwasher? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, the croissants are the the croissants are done from the dishwasher. Social Bree. Yeah. Thanks, Kate. Thanks. Okay.
Good stuff. Oh, cookies.